What's up everyone? My name is Bobby. Welcome to my channel, Let's Player. Back with the Star Fox Adventures Let's Play in the Volcano Force Point. I always get like tongue-tied there. I keep forgetting what it's called. But uh, yeah, we're getting a new staff upgrade here. This one's super useful. I know we use it like a lot throughout the game. This is almost as useful as your uh, Fire Blaster upgrade for the staff. The Ice Blast. Use it to douse flames and freeze bad guys. You never really have to do that. Yeah, I guess we'll put that on the hotkey just so we can pull that out. Because I know we use it a lot. And it does eat up your uh, your staff power pretty quickly. I think for our staff, we only get one more energy upgrade. I don't think we... And and you don't get it to like, way later in the game. I forget which mission you like really need it for. Alright, so... Oh my god, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? I know that you're supposed to... Oh, yeah. Okay, I was like... I'm like freaking out because I like can't remember like what you're supposed to do. That's like a little elevator that takes you down further into the Force Point Temple. But, yeah, you have to like douse all these flames just in the, like the main chamber room. You don't ever have to uh, do it out in these like hallways. I used to do it whenever I was a kid just to be safe. I never, like, tested the theory just to see if I, like, had to or not. I just did it anyway. But yeah, you're kind of on a time crunch because I think these flames are on a timer. You can't wait too long, otherwise they all come back on automatically. There are a lot of grub tubs up here. I gotta feed Tricky. He is, like, constant complaining. Alright, I think this should be the last one. Yep. So then this comes up, and now we can finally warp. I think after this we can warp to the actual force point. Yeah, now we can finally take care of those, like, bats. They're, uh, they were, like, kind of invis invincible, or, like immune to our attacks that we had until now. This is the only way you can take them out, I think. I don't think there's any other way. And the problem with this Ice Blaster is the range isn't that great on it, so you have to really wait until enemies are, like, super close before you can use it. Hi, Fox. I've been studying the ancient records of this planet, and you might be interested to hear this. This temple has been built on a force point. A point where pure magical energy is forced up from within the core of the planet. This energy is so powerful that it continually attempts to break the planet apart. To stop this, the ancient Chrysor placed two spell stones inside the temple to absorb the energy. When General Scales removed the stones, the planet began to fall apart. By returning the spell stones back to the temple, you will bring the planet together once more. Peppy out. So yeah, now we're finally like inside of the volcano itself. You can like look out there, like there's like the opening, I guess. And I think this unlocks one of the doors. Yeah, but after this, there shouldn't be too many more puzzles. I can't really remember what all ensues. I think we have to put out some, like, flames in, like, another massive, like, room. But yeah, the, uh, these temples are pretty much, like, rinse and repeat the entire game. Uh, I know that, like, the second phase, whenever you come back through here, they do get a little bit more difficult. It's kind of the same puzzles, just with, like an added catch, like it's either timed or color-coded or order of operations, like, reliant. Like, I know this room, whenever we come back, you have to put these out in a certain order, and it's, like, super time-constrained. It actually gets kind of difficult if you, uh, it takes you long to do it. kind of cool that like even whenever you're indoors like this and like the game really gives you no like identification if it's like daytime or nighttime but it's still like 
like Tricky still falls asleep, like the Grub Tub still falls asleep. Like it's kind of cool. Like it still shows that like the day and night cycle are still happening, even though like you're nowhere near outside. But yeah, take advantage of these like flame things whenever you're in this like little battle arena, because it cuts your time down to like almost in half whenever you're able to get these guys like taken out by it. Flames do like extreme damage in this game for whatever reason. And make sure you have staff energy upgrades like during this portion because, or uh, the jewels, because it like, I've come through here without any like energy in my staff and you have to go the whole way back to like practically the beginning of the, the level to get these jewels to upgrade your staff. Because they don't have like a plant here and I don't know why. It's like, I don't know if the developers just like forgot or what went on there. But yeah, Tricky's like afraid to come across. You just have to like hit these to make them stationary. I'm surprised he hasn't yelled at us that he's hungry lately. I can't remember like any more puzzles that go on in this dungeon. Oh yeah, that's it. I guess I mean I I know that for a fact that the volcano is way more simpler than the uh, ocean force point, but still it's like man, these guys are ridiculous. But yeah, that was way quicker than I thought it was gonna be. And do not fall down here. You have to go through the entire dungeon again if that happens. Know the name of this room it's always like was really cool just because it had like no other purpose than returning the spell stones and it's so cool to like slowly see your progress it's just this massive like cathedral style room and i guess this is the center of the planet i feel like this should be way more secure if like the entire planet like is reliant on this room. I don't think there's a cutscene here or anytime soon. I know that whenever we get out of the temple there is one. But yeah, the, uh, I know that, like, there's, like, smoke things, like, there were, like, pink and purple, like, that were coming out of the center of that, like, I don't know what it, whatever we put the spell stone in, uh, I know whenever, once we get all four, like, there's, like, those go away. I think, I'm pretty sure it's, those are, like, the magic that they're talking about, or whatever, something stupid that, like, is tearing the planet apart. Now I just gotta remember how to get out of here. Yeah, that pretty much does it. I mean, after whenever we come back a second time, it's not that difficult. Uh, I mean, no real part of this game is, but uh, I know for the Ocean Forest Point, the first time you go there, it's way more difficult than this. It's still pretty easy. Uh, and then the second time you come back here, it gets a little bit more challenging. And then whenever you go back to the Ocean Forest Point Temple the last time, that's the only time I can say that like the temples actually are relatively challenging. Yeah, if you miss it that time, it doesn't really matter because. The exit leads to where you want to go anyway. And after this, we have a pretty lengthy cutscene. So, uh, that should chew up pretty much the rest of this episode. This part's kind of weird, though, too. So, like, don't be turned off by it. Yes, that's Crystal from the beginning of the game. My test, but she is now in great danger, and for her to survive, 
you must continue what she started and collect the remaining Krizoa spirits, for only the pure of heart can enter our shrines. I can't just stop now to save this stranger. The planet is falling apart. Yeah, I mean, this game would, like, literally be over in, I don't know, ten episodes if it weren't for this side quest Sounds that we have to go on. Because the Krizoas are so time-consuming. remaining five Krizoa shrines. Complete the test within each, and bring the spirits to Krizoa Palace. The Warp Stone can get you there. When all spirits are returned, she will be saved. She is depending on you for her life. I don't get why that he can't do something. He's like a god, isn't he? Defeat the creature to collect a moon seed. I guess we'd better help her. Yeah, those I don't even know what they're called. I don't even know if they give them a name. Call a calm stun before you can attack it. Yeah, those things are really weird and they take forever to kill. But yeah, now we have to collect all these Grizoa spirits. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. I think... Yeah, he has it. You see, like, on the right, we have our, uh... Oh my god. We have our... The spell stones on the right. Um, the Bafam Dad. 34%, I think, is the amount of the game we completed. Oh my god, shut up. And then the bottom is how long we've been playing the game. 3 hours, 13 minutes, 33 seconds. And then the Grizoa spirits. We only have one right now. And, uh, oh my god, I couldn't stay on there any longer. If he would have talked one more time, I would have, like, thrown my controller. But yeah, we get two staff upgrades, like, relatively close here. And, uh, this one is super, like, I don't know. I, I want to say efficient, but it does eat up a lot of your attack and uh, energy power. But it does come in handy, especially if you're, like, fighting large groups of enemies. Collected the ground quake. Yeah, this one's really cool. I think it's the only upgrade you get, I mean, other than the upgrade to this upgrade, that uh, affects, like, can affect multiple enemies at one time. Alright, so I guess I'll defeat this dude. I kind of wanted to get into the past before this episode ended, but I can't really complain. Yeah, so we have to do is this is the new enemy. They're pretty ugly looking. You hit it with this ground quake and that kind of like stuns it, I guess. And then you have to hit its back with uh, your fire blaster. And I think you only have to do it twice. Thank God, because it would take forever if that wasn't the case. Alright, so these are moon seeds. I don't know if they grow on their own because I know if you let them go long enough, like they kind of like start to twitch and like move around. But uh, you can speed up their growth by using tricky flame command. And this this will get us to the pass. Uh, we have to go a super roundabout way to get to uh, the Krizoa Shrine. But yeah, this should only eat up one episode for us to get this, and then we can finally get back on track. Uh, I think our next one is Cloudrunner Fortress. We go down to the Ocean Force Point and uh, Cape Claw. And uh, that's by far my favorite place in the entire game. I used to hate Fox's auto lock on feature, and now, like, now it's a total blessing. Like, you don't have to like, manually aim anymore. But yeah, you definitely need a bunch of these uh, the moon seeds. Oh my god, I don't have any of these bomb spores. Why would I not stock up stock up on these? Let me see if I can Chris Kyle this. Dude, that was a dirty shot. Oh my god. They're not gonna float down here, are they? Alright, we got a waste of moon seed. Look just this. Flame. Yeah, I know we need a bomb spore plant uh, up ahead. I shouldn't complain too much. This episode, like, this part's actually kind of fun, especially up here whenever, like, there's, like, a big action scene. But, guys, that's gonna have to wait until the next episode. Um, hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, hope the winter goes by fast, because I probably cannot take it anymore. Uh, big shout-outs again to, uh, Button Mash Games. Thanks a lot, man, and, uh, hope you guys take care.